This is my tiny rant on why our kids cannot do fractions. I had students from three different cities this week who could not simplify this expression. They are first year students in engineering. I said, okay, what's the least common denominator? No problem. They got that five. I said, how do you do it? And they said, seven over five minus one. I said, okay, now put the least common denominator in and they make a five on the bottom. And they proceeded to write this. And six over five was the answer. I said, here you have a whole one. Here you have one fifth. How can one fifth be equal to one? And I'm telling you, these kids looked at me as if I had come in from Mars. They had no idea that these two things had to be the same. And I said, you're talking wrong. This is not seven over five. That is not how you say this. This is seven fifths. And I think this is the basic reason why our kids cannot do fractions. I looked at many videos after this, and they all say seven over five. I said, no, no, this is seven fifths. I said, part under the line tells the size or the name of the piece. Here it is named a fifth. We have denominated it as a fifth. We've named it as a fifth. This is not a five. This is a fifth. I said, the part on above the line tells the number of those pieces we have. Here we have seven pieces. It is numbered or numerated as seven. I said, never read this as seven over five or seven above five. I said, it is seven fifths. I said, the problem here, why, why do we need a least common denominator? I said, because we're trying to add fifths and whole things. I said, can you add a fifth of something and a whole thing of it without renaming the size of the pieces? I said, we have to have all the same sized pieces. You have to think that way. We have to make the pieces the same size in order to add or subtract them. And that is why we use a common denominator. The reason they don't get it is because we use the words seven over five instead of the proper words seven fifths.